All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of this prosciutto uh, di San Daniel Dope. I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably not pronouncing any of that right. Normally $13.59, it was $3 off, so basically $10.59. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. So it has three packs. This thing kind of just slides off, so be careful. It just like fell off and then all the stuff can fall out everywhere. You won't know, but you are supposed to have three of them, okay? So if you bought this at Costco and for some reason you came home with just one or, or something, then you need to go back and find out what happened to the other packs. So you see, once you take off that sleeve, they just fall off, okay? So yeah, um, you can open one and you can save the rest for later. Okay, here you go. Uh, prosciutto di San Daniel SD prosciutto di San Daniel all right product of Italy protected designation of origin produced sliced and packaged in San Daniel de Friuli Friuli <laughs> I'm pronouncing all of it wrong you, you guys can tell me how to pronounce it in the comments find out the origin of your slice all right so they have a QR code so you can find that out and I can't read that protected designation of origin okay transparently San Daniel dot IT all right, there's the stuff. I guess it was made in August 9th, 2022, and then it's good until October 11th, 2024. It's not very long shelf life, actually. Okay, so it's uh, almost September, so it's like two months, all right? <laughs> not very long. <clears throat> okay, so here you go. Actually, not even two months. All right, premium curated collection, Prince Principe. Italia prosciutto di San Daniel dope no nitrates or nitrites added all natural except for the naturally occurring ones and sea salt all right no artificial ingredients minimally processed three ounces 85 grams keep refrigerated productively so I, I think each one is three ounces okay because there's three it comes with three packs <clears throat> okay here you go can we know that? No MSG added, gluten free, no lactose, all natural. Over 2,000 years ago in San Daniela, uh, Daniele, I don't know, a village in the northeast of Italy where the gentle breeze of the Atlantic Sea. Wait, what? Ad, Adiatic? <laughs> Is it supposed to say Atlantic? I don't know. Sea meets the fresh air of the Alps. Our forefathers started handcrafting a unique prosciutto. Today, Principe still makes this Italian specialty with the same recipe and passion. Only Italy's best pork legs, sea salt, and uh, patient aging give, the, give life to the extraordinary buttery and melt-in-your-mouth bouquet of Principe San Daniel Prosciutto. Here you go, nutrition facts, serving size, two slices, 70 calories for each two slices. All right, four grams fat, 6%, 1.4 grams saturated fat, 7%, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 7%, 546 milligrams sodium, 23%, no carbs, no fiber, no sugar, no added sugar, 8.4 grams of protein. Uh, there's no uh, vitamin A or C. There's 2% of iron and no calcium. Ingredients are Italian pork legs, sea salt, and it's certified by control body authorized by the competent, right? There you go. Competent mis ministry, Italy. There you go. Sorry. Start aging. All right. So they show when they started aging it and then when to eat it by. All right. You can contact them there and there's the UPC code. All right. Let's open it up and give it a try. So again, it comes with three separate packs. I'm going to open this up. All right, you can peel these apart. It's a little bit tough to do so. Oh, that's not good. It tore itself. Okay, so you got to be careful with the packaging because now we're probably going to have to put in another bag or eat it really fast. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's super thin and greasy. Okay, and I guess I'll just open it all the way. Might as well. All right, so here you go. It's just layered like this. Oh, no, it's all stuck together. So this kind, they don't use that plasticky papery stuff inside okay usually I always see them like layer and then put that plastic sheet mm -hmm. salty mm. salty aged pork mm -hmm. <laughs> tastes good the only thing with this is you see how it's like this? I don't know how you would reseal it. So you have to eat all of this at once or 
I don't know, it's gonna dry up really fast. I think I bought one like this before from the Costco Business Center and I kind of preferred the one with the plastic sheets in between because then it's uh, easier to store if you don't eat it all really fast. Okay, here you can see what it looks like. All right, it's cut super thin. You can somewhat see through the fat portion and the meat. I'll actually open, uh, peel another slice after this, but okay. You can actually, you see that? You can kind of see my fingers through it. It's so thin. It's pretty crazy how thin they slice this stuff. All right, so yeah, it's pretty tasty. You can see my hands are getting all greasy. Um, <clears throat> these actually go nice with crackers and stuff and cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you like salty kind of salami and stuff like that, give this a try. It's really nice. And yeah. They give you quite a bit. The only thing, I don't know how you store this. <laughs> I guess you have to get like a big gallon Ziploc bag and then put the whole package in there. But um, other than that, not really much to say about it. It's a nice salty meat that pairs well with other stuff. Again, cheese, you can eat it with like some fruits and things like that. I don't know what else people eat this stuff with, but yeah, eat it however you want. You don't have to go traditional. <laughs> All right, not really much else to say. Very tasty. Chewy. You can see how it's like sh stringy, shredded. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you would describe the texture. It's almost like in between in between cheese and chewing gum like it has that kind of kind of bite that's a little bit bouncy like a chewing gum and also like cheese so it's kind of like I feel it's like in between but yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video there's three different trays they do expire relatively quick so if you get this make sure it's something that you'll be able to finish within like a month or two even after the expire, expire, expiration date, it's usually okay, but yeah, for safety and whatever, so they don't get sued, they, they got to put a number there. But I mean, look, it's been aging for two years. <laughs> it's 20, it's August, the end of August, 2024 right now. So, all right. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a try. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.